Hey guys, welcome back to the Club Kelbegan WhatsApp group. We are going to do Pilates timed session tonight. We have done a few Pilates classes, we've done a few circuit classes, so it's kind of like a Pilates circuit class, as in each exercise is timed. We're going to do 20 exercises all together and 10 stretches. That'll take about half an hour. So, without further ado, I'm going to go straight into it. I'm going to start the timer. I'm just going to set up the timer. Um, Hope you're all keeping well and that you're all finding the workouts good and that you're getting time to do them at home. Um, as I said yesterday on the WhatsApp group, I have set up a YouTube channel with all my videos. All you have to do is subscribe. My videos are free. So subscribe if you can and you'll get access to all the videos there. I'm gonna put I'm gonna still put my videos up on WhatsApp first and then I'm gonna stick it on YouTube each time. Okay, so I'm going to start by setting up my timer, which I had done already, but I managed to switch it off just there a second ago. So I am going to start off now any second. And I have my timer down. <laughs> Jen is laughing behind the phone here. So, getting ready to start in three, two, one, and off we go. So, I'm going to start off with some leg circles, my usual routine to for Pilates. So, right leg, starting off. <coughs> this will be an intermediate Pilates routine. So, it won't be too hard, it'll be too easy. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nice and slow and controlled, nine, don't sacrifice speed, control and ten in the opposite direction, keeping the left knee bent and opening up that right hip as much as you can, breathe it out on the way up, breathe it in on the way down. I have my copyrighted music on tonight. I had to look up some copyrighted music or non copyrighted music as I was getting a few complaints from YouTube the other day that some of my videos were, weren't allowed to go up because of copyright issues. So that's 10 both ways on the right leg, changing over to the left leg, and off I go. Breathing out on the way up, breathing in on the way down. Three, four, leg circles. Why I always begin with leg circles, it's a great opener. It's just kind of a warm up, opening up that hip as much as you can, getting that blood pumping. Jen is falling asleep behind the camera here, I think. Another busy day, minds up two young lads. 10 and 10, the opposite direction, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, breathe out on the way up, breathe in on the way down, 4, 3, 2, and one. So that's two sets of leg circles, one on each side, right leg, left leg, 10 forward, 10 backwards. So next exercise, I'm going to do glute bridge, right leg. So I am going to bring those heels in, feet shoulder the apart, push up those hips, release that left leg, lock up the knee, point the toe, all the way down to the floor, and back up for one. And two, three, squeezing that right glute every time, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five. Up, squeeze that right glute and back down, breathe it out, on the way up, breathe it in on the way down. Three. 
two, one, and back to the floor. I'm changing over to the other side. <coughs> Bring those feet in. Realigning myself. Feet shoulders apart. Hands on your side, head on the floor. If I go, squeeze in those glutes as tight as I can. Changing legs. So, releasing the right leg this time, looking at the knee, pointing the toe, all the way down to the floor and back up four. And two, squeezing that left glute each time, three, four, five, six, up we go, squeeze and engage that glute each time, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reach it up with that toe, be the nose on the way up, in on the way down, and one, and all the way back down the floor, feel it in the glutes, so next exercise, I'm going to do some double leg circles. So, moving over a little bit, so give yourself some room. Head on the floor, hands up to the side. I'm going to do 10 forward, 10 backward. <coughs> Tapping out the knees, point to the toes. Again, if you're not used to doing them, small circles are fine. If you're used to doing them, then do bigger ones. Two, keeping that head on the floor. Arms down by your side. Three. Four. Five. Five, four, three, two, and one. Change of direction. Ten in reverse. Anti clockwise. Backwards. Nine, eight, <coughs> seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. And I'm going to straight into my first stretch, double leg stretch. I'm going to hold this stretch for the duration of the next time slot. So, first four exercises is over. Big stretch, pull those knees in. Really feel that stretch, great stretch, really. Great stretch. Big deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Again, if you have time, if you can, include your relaxation and breathing at the start, five minutes. Just get in tune. Tune that mind to the body as much as you can. Do a deep stretch, holding those stretches. Next exercise is how to do bridge. So bring those heels in, slide those heels down as close as I can. Hands on my side, head on the floor, and off I go up, squeeze, engage, and back down. And two, really feel this one of the hamstrings. Three, pushing those hips up, squeezing both glutes equally. Four, five. Six, nice and slow and controlled. Seven, really getting that glute activation each time. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Squeeze it equally on both sides. Eight. You can out on the way up, in on the way down. Nine, ten, one, 
two, three, four, and all the way back to the floor. I can feel that in the hamstring. So next exercise, I am going to do a stretch. Stretching out those calves, pushing that toe towards the knee. Really feeling that stretch on the calves. <coughs> Pushing that toe more and more towards the knee with each breath. Deep breaths into the nose, out to the mouth. Really feeling that stretch, including the stretches into my routine, routine tonight. Like it's easier, especially when you're doing Pilates, if you include the stretches instead of doing them at the end, because we can always come up with an excuse at the end not to do them. But if we include them during the class, it just makes us do them. Pushing that toe towards the knee, stretching out those calves. So, next exercise. Leg stretches. So, lifting the head and shoulders up off the floor, I'm going to pull that leg in as much as I can. Keeping that chin off the chest. Three, two, one, and up I go. Four, two, breathing out as I bring that leg in. Four, five, six. Of course, you can bend the knees if you want to. If you're not used to doing Pilates, or if you're used to doing them, then you can keep them straight. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, one, two, breathing out on the way in, three, in on the way out, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, going on to my next one. Side stretch. So we're going to move to the side. We're going to stretch for the last part of this part of the video. We are going to do a side stretch, stretching those quads, bringing that heel up, bringing that knee back, feeling that stretch from knee to the hip. And that's our first part over and done with. Changing over to the other side. <coughs> really feel that stretch from knee to hip. So that's the end of the first part of our Pilates circuit. See you in a couple of minutes. The second part.